Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about Fortuna responsive multipurpose Word, WordPress theme. Okay, so with the help of this theme you will be able to create a lot of amazing website. Let me show you uh, what are the demo these people provide you. Okay, if you click on this live preview button then it will redirect uh, you to the official website of these people. Okay, and uh, to read more about this theme or if you want to get more knowledge you can always check out their documentation section as you can see everything is well organized and you will get a rough idea what i'm talking about and you should know before buying something right so here is the section where you can get each and every uh, detail whatever you want to know okay and if you want to get this uh, full uh, documentation you can always visit their website so this is uh, something which we are going to import it on our website but i am not sure they provide a one click importer or not uh, we have to import it manually but no issues uh, we will see how we can do it so first of all you need to buy this theme uh, to uh, make website so i am assuming that you have already bought this theme okay so once the theme file is on your system the next step is to um, upload that particular theme file on your wordpress website so in today's video i am going to use this wordpress website this is my uh, uh, subdomain youtube.srmehranclub.com uh, so with the help of this domain i generally make tutorial video for you people okay so first of all you need to log into your uh, dashboard which is wp admin just you after your url or if you are logging in for the first time just put your username and password which you have entered while you were uh, uh, what should i say installing wordpress on your cpanel okay cool so once you are redirected to this page, this is called the dashboard or the back end of the website. On the left hand side, you will see multiple things. So uh, let me give you a quick tour that uh, under the settings section, you will find general settings, reading settings, writing settings, general that you can change anything related to your website. Okay. So basically permalink is one of the important settings which you need to figure it out when you install a new fresh WordPress website. Always check this post name option because this is always good for SEO. Okay, under the tool uh, section, import, export tool, site, health tool, you get a lot of tools, right? So with the help of user section, you will be able to create and remove some user, right? There must be multiple admins on your user, multiple managers, multiple author. You can do that, right? So with the help of plugin, you will be able to extend some kind of extra functionalities on your website. So if you want some, uh, what should I say? If you want any kind of a uh, certain function like a uh, contact form then there is a plugin from contact form if you want slider there is a plugin for slider okay so under the appearance code you will see theme uh, customized theme widget and everything so today we are going to deal with theme section here we need to click on add new to add new theme as you can see i have already uploaded the theme no issues in that i just have to add new theme click on upload and before uploading the theme let me tell you something about this if you see here a lot of themes right these are some themes which has been provided by wordpress for free but there are a lot of difference between free theme and paid theme uh, generally free theme are less customizable like there are very less customization option when it comes to free theme and their responsiveness over mobile devices are pretty low right so i generally prefer uh, premium theme over free theme and one of the most important aspect when it comes to blogging or a newspaper a news a news magazine theme is that your website has to be a with a good conversion rate right and which comes in uh, generally what should i say which comes generally in premium theme because their speed time and load time has been optimized by the theme provider itself okay so i generally prefer you that if you are buying a new theme if you have little bit of money to invest in the very initial stage of your business always invest that little penny in uh, buying a good theme for your business right so assume that you have the file on your system here is the down here is the file you just need to upload it click on install and it will start uploading the file from your system to the server okay so i have already uploaded it as you can see just i need to activate it okay after activated in you will see this kind of notification so then what is basically this this is that uh, our theme is suggesting us to uh, install some install some kind of certain plugin which is basically recommended plugins right so what are recommended plugin a theme consists of uh, generally multiple functionalities like slider header custom header custom footer or custom gallery right 
so each and every functionality consists of some plugin i mean to say each and every functionality consists of uh, some kind of certain plugin and if that particular plugin is missing out of your theme then that particular theme won't work properly okay so it's always required that whenever your theme suggests you to install some kind of certain plugin never ignore those messages always install those plugin okay cool so click on being activate because i have already installed it it's pretty same process you just need to click here and install all this plugin then you will see this section so always remember this thing always activate from this section never go on, on that section to activate the plugin because that take a lot of time okay so once the activation of all the plugin is completed which will take like couple of seconds for us just wait for it then i will guide you what you have to do okay once it is activated successfully let's see how our website looks right now i'm sure it must be simple as you can see nothing fancy so once it is activated successfully our next step is to import demo content coming back to the plugin section i will show you something okay as you can see here it is written wp imported so we have to import the files manually so importing file manually is a tricky thing you need to come to the tools and click on import and here is the wp importer click run importer and here you have to select the file or uh, basically an xml file which you will get on your theme file okay uh, here is the demo content and here you need to upload this xml file and click on upload file and everything will start uploading on your website okay you just need to wait for a couple of seconds this is not uploaded this is asking what username or the uh, user you need to provide to all the demo content which has been attached to that xml file and yes we need to download all the import attachment okay cool so click on submit it will take a couple of seconds let's wait for it then i will come back to you soon so as you can see everything has been imported successfully let me show you how our website looks right now it was this and let me refresh it and uh, you can see uh, some content has been put on our website but still it is not uh, structured well okay so let me show you what are the pages that has been imported from that xml file there are literally 109 pages has been imported from that particular file let me show you about me page then you will see that this is a well designed page right if you see everything is well designed and everything is mobile optimized as well which is the best thing right as you can see everything is mobile optimized so basically i want to say there are each and every section like right? if you go to the animated counter you will see that there will be a animated counter for your next uh, appearance or if i go to the blog section or let me go for the contact page i am just showing you what are the content which has been imported from our website not this one and contact page uh, a basic simple contact page let me show you the home page which has been imported uh, from that particular xml file this is the home page okay we have not set it up the slider revolution i told you na the uh, plugin okay if you scroll down everything is optimized very beautifully and uh, yeah everything looks fine to me and basically if you want to install uh, import that slider plugin you need to come here slider revolution okay and you need to upload the file okay, let me show you here you need to import slider select the file and here slider revolution you will see there are a lot of slider which has been provided by the theme click on this import import slider it will take couple of second then it will be imported successfully then you need to select this code and change the code so that it will be imported successfully if i'm not wrong what is the code of this embed slider here is the code and you need to put this code on the home page advance uh, i just need to copy this code let's copy it and let's try to put this code here on the very top of the home page then you will get to know that everything looks perfectly fine Uh, wait let it load then we will try to edit this page i'm sure it is made up with any kind of page builder right or if you can read this whole thing then it would be really great for you but i have a little bit of experience so i can tell you that there must be slider option and here you need to uh, put this code slider and uh, you need to put this code here write it text this 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 
and if you put this code and update it and come back here and refresh it i'm sure this slider must have to be uh, imported successfully yeah as you can see slider has been imported successfully you just need to import everything manually okay it is a hassle work but designing the website from scratch with your own hands hands is one of the basic thing which you have to do okay so i hope you really get my point what i'm trying to say here uh, everything is optimized well so i hope you really like this video if you did just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one